Alright, so I've been thinking about what to do with all these cars and all this filming I'm doing these cars. So, a friend of mine came to me and said, I think you should do a series called Dream Garage because I was dreaming of stuff to have in my garage one day. So, here we go. I'm gonna try out the first one. And uh, this weekend, I'll be rolling in a BMW. Not sure what they have for me. Let's find out. Number one, Dream Garage. Let's go. Problem is, I can't find my car. So, dream garage. I'm off to a good start. Man, it just feels good getting in here, though. Ooh. Car has been located. All right. All right. This thing is a 4.4 liter V8. 458 horsepower, damn, quick little drive. I'm not gonna say I won't want this in my garage. It might be kinda number one. Need a functional, good car. 95K though, do the math. So got in the car, picked up this one, obviously, headed out east. In bumper to bumper traffic. <laughs> Loving the car so far. This thing, you know, I drive all these old cars recently and you just really appreciate new things like GPS, like Apple Play, like cooled seats, brakes that work when you press them not trying to figure things out. There's a beauty to old automobiles, but nice cars and new cars is obviously something to be said about them as well, and I'm really enjoying this ride. Anyway, we're in here. I don't really know where I'm going with this new series, but figured I'd ask my wife, my better half, some questions, which she doesn't know about. What? <laughs> what do you think about this car? From a passenger perspective, what does it do for you? Tell me about it. Um, Better yet, what's when? Tell me about your first car. What was your first car? I mean, my first car was a 1998 um, Land Rover, and it was my first and only car. <laughs> uh, what is that car for you? Um, that car for me was like. I mean, it was awesome. It was free. Look, there's a Land Rover right over there. There it is. It's Older point. one. Um, it was so fun. I mean, it was a bossy car. Um, I you felt like a boss in it. Yeah, I definitely felt like a boss in it. But and you I got also, in there and you were like, "What's up?" It was a lot of trouble, though. That car. Was it? Yeah, I mean, the brake pad fell out. <laughs> okay, I didn't even know what a brake pad was, but. It's very dangerous when it falls out of the car. <laughs> Basically, didn't have brakes. You can't stop. Yeah. And luckily, I was on my way to uh, a mechanic because we were. I was with my friend, and we were getting his car fixed. Okay. So anyway, that was just luck. Thank goodness. But I've always <laughs> said that there's been angels on my side. Car angels that time. But like for me, my first car was like, you know, it gave me freedom to like. I'm from a little town, right? So it gave me freedom to get out and do my own thing. It was the first kind of time I was like not strapped to my parents and, you know, borrowing their car, having to return it. Like I could just kind of do what I wanted. And you got your first one at school. So that must have been your first time like really out of the house. And you were like, damn. Yeah, I mean, it's different. Like growing up in the city, like I definitely, my, neither of my parents had cars. Like I've been taking in taxis in the subway since I was 11 yeah. years old. But, um, but having a car did allow me at school to have the freedom of like going anywhere I wanted, you know, at any time. And like even just being able to go pick up my groceries. The you best. Know? That's actually one huge difference because living in New York, you it's a whole issue with your groceries because you don't feel like you can take a taxi if you're just a few blocks from home. True. But if you 
sometimes you almost go out of your way to go to a grocery store that's not in your neighborhood so that you can take a taxi home, you know? Yeah. So then having a car. a car to, like, go pick up my groceries, that was kind of, like, the first time I really felt like I had a, you know, something to, Purpose like... Purpose with a, it. What were you listening to first era of your car? What was playing in the Range Rover sound system? I mean, that's, like, when... Uh, XM radio like was really big. Oh, you're just rocking some hard XM? Yeah. What station were you were you playing? I like listened to a lot of like um, Shade 45. Ooh. Um, skin. I, I like early, listening uh, early to, on the hood program. I like to listen to seven seven on seventies or whatever. Seventies on seven. Seventies on seven. Yeah. I actually like fifties on five too. <laughs> Quite a lot. R- Ricky Nelson, you know, is one of my faves. <laughs> Uh, a, a very specific song memory I really have here we go we're digging is we're getting deeper to I Love College by Asher Roth oh. in, in my my All right. car so for those of you that don't know before I dated Hannah now married this lovely lovely woman her ex was a music artist named Asher Roth who had a song called I Love College which I actually really loved. Who and didn't love that song? It was, it was a, a hit. smash. The thing, the thing was went number one. Yeah, it was great. Yeah, it was massive. And, and I, uh, remember, I literally remember listening to him being like, "I do love college. This is awesome. <laughs> I love college so much. Like to have that would song I not love come college? out when when you were in college was really cool. I mean, it was a yeah. cool moment. Um, yeah, and then I started dating him because I'm cool like that. And then we broke up. And then that was it. It was over. And then I met the love of my life. That's right, this guy. And here we are. In a car. In a car. Talking about car stories. Talking car about a revolution. Memory. So tell me about this car then. What are you loving about this car? The BMW M550. Well, I got in, and the first thing you said was, why don't you put your seat back and recline and get comfortable? You know, you can't really get comfortable if your passenger doesn't look comfortable. Because then it just looks odd. I would still like if your seat was back a little more, but I it's like fine where it is. Up because then... You don't fall asleep. Yeah. It's tough when the passenger falls asleep. This car is really... I mean, this car is cool. It's like a new... <laughs> I think it's cool because uh, you love it and you're like you can go super fast and it's like super responsive and it's the Bluetooth and all the things. So hey, I like word. it because you like it. So your love of cars depends on my passion for cars. Uh, kind of, yeah. So if I asked you right now, like, if you had a dream car and what would that car be? You would say, what's your dream car? <laughs> no, I would say probably like a Porsche 911 because that's your dream car. Wow, what does this guy do? See what happened? I did. What was your first song that you listened to um, when you got your stereo system done of your first car? Seems like we might have just talked about that. That's, <laughs> very, very, specific. that's a very specific <laughs> question. When you got your stereo system done of your first car ever, it was an Outcast song. And I don't know the name of it. But it was the first song on the CD and I had a good bass line. And I had two Rockford Fosgate 12s and a dual bandpass box in my trunk, so, you know. Are you even speaking English? That's English for car nerd, sound system nerd, tech from like the early 2000s. <laughs> That's the truth. I think one of the other nice things about cars is they just create memories. I think I can kind of remember every or like associate so many trips with driving. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Blow beauty bar. <laughs> anyway, loving this car. That's Hannah. She's a little snoozy right now. <laughs> I'm not snoozy. You're <laughs> snoozy. I'm snoozy. But I just had something in my eye. We love drive well, I love driving. I love that you love to drive with me. It's nice to have a good co-pilot, even though sometimes you just look down the whole time and realize, hey, we're almost there. 
I just did. We're 20 minutes away. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, we're not 20 minutes away. It's been two and a half hours. <laughs> Guess that's where these episodes are going. So, episode one, almost done. Maybe we'll just get some more gratuitous car shots. And, uh, eh, call it a weekend. Get one of these in my garage one day. But I've, currently, by the way, it's I've, in the garage. I've uh, gotten really good at taking car shots. All right, well, because guess what? You're going to be standing on the side of the road while I drive past and back. Yeah, I'm used to it. I'm surprised. Did you bring the drone out? <laughs> yep, we got a drone. We'll try and get some footage. So that's it for this part now. Stay tuned for the footage. <laughs> Uber drivers just went up in the door. <laughs> <laughs>